question of the day. What is your favorite tiny game? Now, I don't mean tiny epic unless that is your answer. I mean tiny game, a game that is actually tiny that fits in a tiny space that you can play in tiny places. Well, today we're talking about a game that's not just tiny, it's micro. No, it's not little cars zipping around in cereal bowls. It is micro cities. Micro city, micro, plural or singular, I'm not entirely sure right offhand, but you can see it. You see it in the title here. I've got it right there, probably. Micro Cities is a game all about a puzzle in which you are playing an engineer trying to best build in a building plot and you're trying to be the most efficient about it and quick as you can and try to get under budget and under time constraints. So let's take a look at this solo and it has some cooperative variants and competitive variants as well game that is micro all about building cities, resource management and a nice puzzle right now. So this is Micro City set up for a solo variant. Now there is another version where you can play cooperative and competitive in the back of the rule book, but the solo is the main puzzle that we're gonna be focusing on. You start with zero resources of each, two money. You have these eight investment markers, the two dice, you roll them at the beginning of the phase and it shows you the different phases here. Really great reference cards, by the way. Preparation phase, then project, then investment, then final. Uh, you're gonna pick four random districts. Now we have the logistics expansion going here because it's not that much to it. We're building this building here, side A of this building. Uh, B is a harder version. And you have a time card that tells you how many turns to get for easy side A, which is what we're doing. So we get 10 rounds, which is why that's on round 10 up there. You also get these six project cards of the stack that's there to use. Now these are gonna be different actions that you're gonna be able to do, as well as the actions of the spaces on the board. So it's an interesting worker movement, a la the colonist almost, but in a micro board. This could be played on a tray table, which is very interesting. So let's walk through those phases quickly. The preparation phase, this allows you to do some manipulation with the dice. You're gonna roll the two dice. Here we have uh, a six and a three play them there. What we're trying to do is build this building before the timer ends or before all the investment tokens get taken up out here or over there. So in order to do that, we can then manipulate the dice a little bit. So we can roll, uh, we can change the die value by spending goods. We can pay a material to remove an investment marker, one of these that's out from any area. Or we can also sell the material for a dollar. So you're gonna need the materials as listed here on the cards to invest. The way you invest and the way you build this building is by the residential areas. Each of the types of buildings do different things. For instance, the industrial, which would be the orange ones here and here, they have a certain die amount under them. They all have a die. What that means is if you land there with your engineer by moving with this number in the top left, when you move to that space, you're gonna to get to take advantage of its action if it doesn't have an investment marker there, which would be one of those. The way it works is, for industrials, you get one of the type of good listed. If you have the advanced action, which means you spend the die value listed in the bottom, so five or six, you then get the advanced, which is double. Commercial, which are the blue districts, is you're gonna trade resources uh, one to one and then gain a dollar. The advanced is gain one to two and gain a dollar. Residential is you can gain two dollars for the basic, and then advanced, you perform a build action. When you build, you're gonna spend the resources here to put a marker on there. It will be one of those markers, by the way, so also running out of time. You have logistics, which means you can remove two of these, which is nice, and then you can exchange one material, one coin for two materials, so it's a quicker way to get materials. The seaport we're not playing with, but that's another option that you can use. All the symbols that you're gonna need are listed right there, which is nice, and then the different phases right here. So that's preparation phase. Project phase means we're gonna play one of these project cards, and they do all sorts of things. Now they have advanced and basic too, so you have a dice that you can use on the area and one you can use on the project card. You move your engineer that many spaces of the one you play. So let's say we play two, one, two. It's gotta be orthogonal, it cannot be diagonal. You then could say we could remove one of the investment markers or gain a resource or a good, whatever that's called. You could do that, but if you had a four, which we do not, you could upgrade a district, which means you would flip to the B side, which we were already on the B side, but you flip over to the B side there, uh, which is a nice way to make these action spaces better. You get six of these. Once you've played all six, the other thing you can do is move one space and scoop all of these up. Then you're gonna go into the investment phase, which means you're gonna do the actions of the spaces on the board. Once you've done with that, if you've taken an action, you would leave, or excuse me, if after the investment phase, you're gonna leave an investment marker there. If the investment markers run out or your time runs out, pardon the dog, if your investment markers run out or the time runs out, you lose the game. 
So it's a single player solitaire game all about beating the clock and investing wisely and removing these when you need to. So it's almost like a self-inflicted pandemic a la uh, pandemic. I don't know. Anyway, the point is the investment phase does that. And then the final phase is you're going to gain a coin if both dice remain there. If you didn't use the dice, once you built the building, you win. If you don't build the building, you lose. So that's micro cities. Now, you would expect me, if you've seen the games that I typically review, to not like this. In fact, when I first looked at it, I went, eh, probably not. How wrong I was. This is a very, very cool game. I like solitaire puzzles, and this is a solitaire puzzle that does it really well. It's not too easy on easy. In fact, it's quite difficult on easy. You put out the easy one out there, you put the building on A, give yourself 10 rounds. It's still a lot of strategy. Now, granted, there are a lot of cards that mitigate your time limits when it comes to the investment tokens, but not so much the time limit marker. You have 10 rounds, and if you don't play the most efficiently you can, you're going to lose this game. At the end of the day, it's a really great solitaire puzzle. Is it the best comparatively to other solitaire puzzle games? I don't know. I just I think this one's a really fun one. I like what it does because it is a resource management worker movement game, a la the colonists, right? You're moving around, and where you land is what action you get to take, not worker placement, worker movement. Um, so you have to kind of plan your turns ahead and think, okay, wait a minute. This may not be the very best move for me this turn, but it really, really makes next turn better. It's a good move now, but next turn will be even better. Or do you say, well... I really need this turn now so that I can go ahead and get this out of the way. It really puts that choice in your mind. You have to decide, okay, what's the most efficient thing? Because I know that I can't come back to this space unless I play an engineer card that gets it off of here, the project card, right? So I really think this is a cool game. I think you will like this. If you like puzzly games that play very quick, I mean, this is a very quick game. It also looks good. I think it, to be what it is, it looks pretty good on the table. I think it's cool how the cards line up and the planning things and all. I just think it looks good for what it is. This is a quick solitaire puzzle game about building cities that is meant to be small, it's meant to be quick, and yet it does it well and it makes it fun. It just capitalizes in a cool way that not a lot of games do. So if you like puzzle games, if you like resource management games, if you like worker placement slash worker movement games, I really think you should check this one out. I think this is going to be a win for you. So that's all I got for you today. I'm Brian Drake here on the Dice Tower. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, etc. at Dice Tower Brian. Until next time, we'll see you.